Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Sky Factory 2.5. We are here on the island, and I've got a little bit of progress to show you, and we're going to start working on automating some of the Manicio. So let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, lots of progress off camera. So I'm going to take you on a little tour of that. We've got some around here on the AE system and in some of the ore processing. So before we get into that, I just want to say thank you very much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to share with me. I hope your day is going well. And uh, yeah, anyway, let's get into this. So, uh, well, I'm not sure if you can remember exactly how this system was set up but you can see we've got some more machines that are hooked up to interfaces that means that we've got some potentially auto crafting things going on so let's just take a look we've got alloy smelter here it is set on alloys only and so this is where i'm going to be putting some recipes for building those alloys the first one right there is the energetic alloy that's a common one that we need when we come over here this is oh that's a furnace furnace only so you can see some of the things that we've got in here. Again, if you're used to applied energistics in other mod packs, you might be used to these calculation processors, the various processors being created in an inscriber. We don't have that in Sky Factory 2.5. You have to smelt them instead. So I've got those set up because I, I'm just tired of, of doing those by hand. And then over here is the induction smelter. So I've got some of the basic stuff in there for solar solar flux and, uh, and what else. Uh, these two are actually alloys, but you can make them in the induction smelter. And then over here is a pulverizer. I moved that from the ore processing area. What we're making right now is just pulverized coal and fluix dust. And then let's see. Uh, also, if we go down below here, we have filled out the complete auto crafting stack. So this is eight interfaces and the requisite molecular assembler. So that's one entire set of channels done. So if we want to get more on this side, so we can have 32 channels per ME controller line, we'll have to change cables to the dense cable and we can fit four more of these. And we'll do that eventually, but right now we just don't need it. I've also got an export bus on the on this deep storage unit and so that's in preparation for today's project because we need well since we're going to be automatically collecting Manicio well we need a better place of storing it than just the drives because we might end up just running over the 16k limit so uh, I've filled up here we're down to we, we've got slots for two more drives right there but or storage cells rather but um, but yeah anyway I, I don't want to fill up a drive with just a single item so there we go oh that is a solid surface so we could actually have mob spawns up there uh, the next order of business is automatically or or automatically processing ore. and so what we've got here is a series of ender chest you've seen me do those in in a previous series and previous modded series so I've got different channels for these ender chests. Yeah, I went back to the nether and got a bunch of blaze rods so we could build a bunch of these ender chests because our mob farm isn't quite ready to take those blaze spawners yet. But we've got what, three different channels, uh, three cyan, cyan, light gray, cyan, and then all light gray. And then in here in the light gray one, we're sending things that can be compacted into a four by four uh, four by four square so a bunch of the crushed crushed ore and that's out of the ex nihilo mod broken draconium ore you get from sifting uh, gravel yeah so there we go um, and that goes into a compactor i'll show you that in just a moment then for the all cyan we're exporting these sands and those are going into uh, back into a hammer so that we can automatically hammer those and then here we've got automatically crafting up the dusts into the dust block form so let's come over here and I can show you the outputs of all those 
So right here, it, the cyan light gray cyan, that's going into a compactor. You can see right there we've got some extras. So whenever extras come in, we'll, we'll get a block of whatever it is. So once we get one more powdered draconium ore, we're going to get a block of, of powdered draconium dust over here. Lots of stuff in here. The reason I switched up, I went with two crafters, is because this thing will fill up. So we want to minimize the potential possibilities there. So we've got two different crafters for that. And then let's see. Yeah, there's the other ender chest that's going into a different type of automatic hammer. This one is from, you can see it there in the Wayla up in the top center of the screen. That's from the X Asterisk mod. I had been using this one from X Compressum, but I was using this automatic sieve from X Asterisk as well. And you can see these upgrades. I've got these fully upgraded. Uh, so all the speed, all the fortune, same thing over here, all the speed, all the fortune. So it's a pretty quick system. All you got to do, we'll just uh, grab a bunch of cobble and we'll throw that into this one. You can see it's, it's producing gravel pretty quickly. The gravel goes into here, into this chest, and then I've got a white list Ender IO filter here, and that's going to send all of the gravel and sand back into this sieve uh, it's going pretty quickly and we can even throw some cobble into here and that is a sag mill and that's going to go into here as well but we're going to need some of that cobble for the project today i think that's the main main difference uh, let's see we've got a little bit more power generation i went ahead and created another couple of solar panel fives and that's because that automated ore processing was eating through the power you can see right now yeah it's draining it yeah it's a mix so as the light level is increasing so the charge is getting better but we are draining it pretty quickly and there's 16 million storage in, in each of these so we're we should be doing fine but Anyway, it's, it's better to have a little bit extra, and we're going to be getting into more, um, well, as especially as we automate the farming, we're going to be getting into more power usage. So uh, first things first. Now, you've seen me do the Mine Factory Reloaded farms before. In fact, I've got one over here. I went ahead and did that early on in the season, and that is just for, primarily for trees. Right now, I've just, I've just got it doing sugarcane but we're full up on the sugarcane so you've seen that we've got a planter uh, I think below this line right here and that's got saplings in it you can do that and I'm gonna do that with some of these other uh, what are they magical crops plants but the Manicio in particular has a special uh, special thing if you hit it with the Zavisio hoe you get eight Oh, got, got nine out of that? Let's see. Is that right? Oh, I see. Eight extra. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, so um, if you just hit it with your hand, you get one. See that? We went from 27 to 28. But if you hit it with this hoe, you get nine total. So uh, there is a, a solution to using these Visio or using the uh, magical crop stuff in a farming setup and that is with the Ender IO farming station so we're going to be building that let's just take a look at that real quick we'll say farming station and we'll take a look at the recipe there so it's electrical steel standard that's a Ender IO alloy that's fine pulsating crystal that's another thing we've got to deal with but then this Z logic controller that uses another machine so uh, called the slice and spice splice not slice and spice uh, so what we need to do for the for the slice and spice splice see I'm saying it wrong multiple times here we need to get a machine chassis and then we're going to grab or put this in here that gives us the slice and splice and then if we go here uh, we've got the recipe for it and I do believe don't have enough room let's put away some of our stuff here 
for our project for the day. Put away that stuff right there, okay. And we'll grab this and we'll go over to our power generation or processing area. Maybe, you know what, we can put it right attached to this. Does that have power? Oh no, this is power input. We can attach it over here. Let's see, right like that. Okay, and it is picking up power. Good, so what we're gonna do is put our recipe in. We need that and that, and then like so. Yep, okay, so it's working. It's a little bit slow. I guess maybe we could put an octatic capacitor in there, make it go a little faster, but really, it just seems like an unnecessary step there, but we got our Z-Logic controller. Maybe there are some other, other recipes in the mod that require that, but let's put that into there. We got another machine chassis, and then the pulsating crystal crystals are right here. And so what we'll do is put that right there, and crystals, boom, now we've got our farming station. And so now what we need to do is find a place for this thing. And what I wanted to do is come over here and go as low as possible, and we'll get out the angel block, and what we're going to do is come right, uh, well, why is it going dark? I want to know that. Let's see. And does this have looking at? No, that's in 1.8 or 1.9. Uh, we're on Y1. Okay, that's what I want because... I want this as low as possible because I want a farming tower, a farm, all these farms, I want them in one giant tower. So uh, what we're going to do here is just build out from the angel block. Uh, what do we got? Once I put that octatic capacitor in there, the farming station will be able to do uh, 15 by 15 area. So what we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six out from that, that's 12, 13 total. And there's 15, if I go out seven, we'll give it a little bit extra of, of a walkway. And then we'll we'll just go out from there. So I'll put that in. And then we'll get, I uh, put this away. So what, what we need to do now is set up the area for where we're going to put this farm. And uh, I'm gonna do that off camera and I'll bring you back once we're ready to set up the farming station. All right, we're almost ready for the farming station. What I am doing now is I'm putting on uh, this fertile soil. It's from Mine Factory Reloaded, and it does not require a water source, which is pretty cool. So that means that we can get by and not have to worry about that. So it's a it's a bit of a complicated recipe. Are we out of that? Have I used up all of the fertile soil? That's I think I have. So we're gonna need some more. Well, let's get the. Uh, I can fill that in in a little bit. But uh, what we need to do now is get this farming station kind of going and first thing we're going to do is we'll put a test rack in we're going to do power supply set the frequency and we're going to be sending items we're going to try that uh, we're not going to do anything with fluids and we're going to be receiving energy the reason why we're going to do sending items is because uh, we're going to try we're going to try to um, to send all of the results back. But uh, what we're gonna do there, we got no seeds and that should be expected. We are gonna put an octatic capacitor in there. And um, yeah, so what we're gonna do is go get some seeds and maybe while we're at 
while we're at it, we can do, uh, we can make some more of the fertile soil. Who knows? Let's see. Let's see what this has to allow. Let's come up here, fertile soil. See if we have the right stuff. Okay, so industrial fertilizer and various milk things here. I do have some milk in the system. I don't know if I have pods all. No, I do not. Let's see, can I make any? No. So uh, I'll take care of that off camera. For now, what we're going to do is get some seeds. And I figure we'll just go like so. I'm going to harvest this whole thing. And that's going to give me a decent amount of Minisio plus the seeds. And it's not going to give me enough seeds, I don't believe. That's fine. That's fine. It's a good start. And I can take care of the rest of it. Oh, camera. So let's come down here. This is quite the drop. And, you know, as I was looking over this, I realized, you know, once we start doing the full farming oh hmm so if you jump on it huh that was weird so that shouldn't be is it farmland huh so I just dropped on it hmm that's weird okay so yeah I'm not sure about that let's put some more seeds in there and yeah, we don't have a light source. I don't have anything for that either. We'll just do that for now. And it's planted all of the Minisio. Um, not quite. Okay, so it, in case you didn't know, it, it does this in quadrants. And so if you put seeds in each quadrant, it's going to use those up. Let's put that there. Okay, so we need to get some more seeds, and then, well, we need we need to put a tool in there, and that's where I got this Zavisio hoe. Let's see, okay, it's not taking the Zavisio hoe, hmm. Well, it looks like there are things that I need to work on off camera, and so we will... Uh, we'll take care of that. I need to get some more seeds. I need to figure out that, get some more of the fertile soil, and then figure out why it's not taking the Zavisio hoe. Okay, so I'll be back in a little bit. Well, I had a look around the internet, found a couple of forums talking specifically about the farming station and Sky Factory 2.5 and magical crops. And it turns out that you cannot put the Zavisio Ho into the farming station. There is a config that happens to run the farming station and what it can take. And in Sky Factory 2.5, it is specifically limited to not allow the Zavisio Ho. The reason why is because this is supposed to be marked as unbreakable. You see that durability? It says unbreakable. For some reason, the farming station still manages to... Uh, cause a little bit of damage and so that tends to cause crashes on your system. So you can turn off the farming station causing a break or you can uh, try for something different. I don't want to mess with the config files. I want to leave this as close to the original as possible. I haven't touched any of the config files so we're leaving it alone. What we're going to do instead is craft a, um, the the one below, so the Imperio. And so what I've done is I've actually put in all of the recipes for for this. You can see it right here. We can we've got the recipes for all the different essences as you go through. And then I've also done this because what we're going to have to do is deal with um, this thing eventually breaking. The reason why I want a magical crops version of the of the hoe is because uh, it gives uh, I'm, I'm not going to get as much uh, extra as with a Zavisio hoe but we'll get four extra I think that's fine so it's going to take a while for it to craft I guess that's going so maybe we can check the progress down here 
go look in our okay it should be done let's take a look or did i hit cancel let's see no i got it okay so we should be able to put this into the system and i've got plenty of seeds yet let's see yeah that should be sufficient I don't know why it goes dark while we're down here. Yeah, so what's up with that? That's interesting. Okay, so that... Oh, I had a shovel on me. Yeah, so if you just drop onto it, you can kill it? I guess that's the deal. That should go through all of those. Is it going to fill it up? Do we not have enough? Let's do like that. And we should be able to put this in. The, okay, so yeah, there we go. So the Imperial Ho does work. Is that going to go all the way through? So we're missing some from this quadrant here. Okay, it's just taken a little bit of time to catch up. Let's try that. And then what we'll do is see if we get, get this thing automatically harvesting. Keep saying no seeds. You should have plenty of seeds. I gave you plenty. Okay, so it's harvesting. And uh, that means that we should be getting some Manicio back into our system up here. So maybe we should check right here. We've got 82.85. Oh, and you know what? I can put some more fertile soil down here as well. Yeah, we might need more seeds in this. So we were at 8285, and it looks like it's picking this up just fine. So now we've got automated Manicio production, which is pretty cool. Let's try that. We should get some more right there. We're out of seeds again. Should be sufficient. One more. Drop one more right there. Yeah, I don't know what the algorithm is for the farming station to, to, to use. Okay, there we go. All the spaces are filled up. And, okay, the only other thing is that it would behoove us to have a little bit of light here in the center. That's going to help, especially on those, uh, especially right now when the sun is down. All right, so that is good to go. And that means that we can stop doing the Minicio uh, manually. This is a good thing. So off camera, what I'm going to do is continue moving some more of those uh, those things to an automated version but I'm probably going to go with the planter and harvester setup because we don't need the additional uh, the additional thing for the hoe now I still have to come up with a way of feeding a new crafted hoe into the farming station we'll figure that out later I might show that to you uh, in the next episode hopefully I get it figured out by then but 
uh, we're going to be working on moving all of this to automated farms over there same as all this because I'm tired of doing this manually so whole point is to automate 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 and that's what we're working towards and oh, we're one step closer anyway hopefully you enjoyed if you did a like is always appreciated and if you haven't done so already think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on on the channel that's going to be it for now thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye bye some of you might be raging in the comments already, but uh, I figured something out. Look, all the Manicio is going into here. We're not doing anything with this yet. Let's look in the configure IO and see if we can move this around. We need to send all of this stuff back to the ME system. We'll see if that'll work. Yeah, so we've pushed it into the Tesseract we may not be pulling in from the Tesseract. So, um, so yeah, anyway, what I need to do is, uh, we'll, we'll try something different. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So yeah, it's not, it's not going into the Tesseract. So I could do an import bus up there or let's just put, uh, put an inner chest like so we'll go into configure io and move this back around none and up here yeah that's not going to leave me much okay i'm going to get the i'm going to get this working okay so i'm going to get it feeding into the tesseract up top and we'll put a piece of glowstone back down. Yes, I wasted a little bit of glowstone. Sorry. Anyway, so in, in case you were raging at me in the comments, I figured that out. We'll we'll get this going in through the Tesseract and we should be fine. All right. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.